In 2018, I started creating KDP low content books. And back then I purchased this tool called Tangent Templates, which was a tool and resource for creating the interiors of low content books and also creating custom interiors for things like planners. And it also was a great tool for putting the books together and also speeding the upload of them to the Amazon platform. And in fact, I use Tangent Templates to create my best-selling book, which to date has sold over 24,000 copies and has made over $45,000 in royalties. That's pure profit. So when they created their latest product, Imagine, I was very interested. And this is around a combination of a course and tools designed to create coloring books using AI with the emphasis on speed and quality. So in this video, I'm going to run through the steps in this course to create a coloring book of my own and therefore show you the whole process involved using Imagine. Now, this software isn't free. It's $197. If you want to include tangent templates with it, it's $247. Now, I will leave a link down below uh, in the description. It is an affiliate link. Any money I make from that does go to help run this channel. If you don't want to click that link, then you can just go to Google and put in Imagine Tangent Templates. Now, the product is split into three main parts. One is niche idea and selection. Second is the prompt generation, which is essential for coming up with good quality images. And the third part is taking those AI images and improving the quality even more to create crisp, clean images. If you have used any AI images to create books, you know that can be there can be sometimes issues around things like shading and sometimes slight coloration of the images. They've got a tool here that completely eliminates that and eliminates it fast. So the first step here is coming up with niche ideas. And there's over two hours of video instruction on coming up with great niche ideas and selecting the best niche for you. Looks at things like needs, desires, hobbies, interests, and trends. And there's some very useful resources here. One I hadn't come across before, which was this site here, trendhunter.com, where you've got all these different categories of current trends. And in fact, I came across this one here, which is this futuristic looking flying car and reminded me of those old Jetsons cartoons where they used to fly around the futuristic city in those flying cars. So I came up with a niche idea of cars or transport and something with a vintage style, sort of maybe 1950s, and maybe something like a comic book style. Now, the second part of this course was coming up with the prompts that we use in our AI software. In this case, it's going to be Midjourney to come up with our, our images. Now, the secret to using AI to create images is what you put in determines what you get out. So prompt engineering is essential. And I went through this video course. There's over one and a half hours here of instruction. And I learned lots of different things, things like blending of prompts, remixing of prompts, using permutations of different prompts, which I'll show you in a moment, weighting your prompts and using images that you've created in AI and using them as prompts again, which I'll show you um, a bit later on. Imagine has a couple of tools here. The first is this prompt catalog. And here we have lots of different categories where we can just copy the prompts in any style that we like. So for instance, you know, you might be creating something around Egypt or something for kids or something with a Japanese theme. In our case, we're going to be looking at cars. Now we've got a few ideas here. If I wanted to, I could easily copy that text and use that as the basis um, of my prompt in mid journey. And one of the big emphasis in this course is taking an original prompt and then going through various iterations and modifications of it to come up with a style that is unique and that you can use consistently in your coloring books. The next prompt tool they've got here, which I love, is the prompt builder. And here we can start from scratch. So first of all, we put in our aspect ratio, which is going to be 85 to 110. Now you may be wondering why I'm putting in those numbers. So we're going to be creating a book 8.5 inches by 11 inches, and we can't use that as an aspect ratio. So we just multiply it by 10 and we get 85 by 110. That's not the size, that's the aspect ratio. So now we come on to subjects. And this is great because there's a whole menu of different ideas here and also a useful tool for coming up with ideas for niches as well. So we're going to be 
creating something to do with cars. So we'll click on transport and machines. And again, we've got all these different options. So let's just start with car. And we can see at the top here, it's starting to build our prompt. Now, during the course, it discusses how to build up a good prompt for AI, starting with the subject, the styles, the settings, the competition, and then the parameters. That's the different uh, versions um, of Mid Journey. So in terms of styles, I want something 1950s-ish. So if we go to time period and look at the options here, we've got this one here, which is 50s. Next, we've got settings or maybe buildings. So we're going to go for bridge. Again, we're going to modify these as we go along. Composition, I'm going to leave for the moment. And in parameters, we're going to choose version four of Mid Journey. So now we've got our prompt here, hit copy prompt. Next, we go to Discord. You see, I've been experimenting already. So we put in imagine, paste our prompt in. Now, before we hit enter, here's something that I learned. We can put in these brackets. We can put in a comma, and I'm gonna put in version 5.1, close brackets. So now, these are what are called permutations. And so we're gonna create two lots of images straight away. And I'm gonna show you the differences between the version four images and the version 5.1 images. Click yes. So you can see here at the top, we have our version four images, which look very bold, which I like. And down the bottom here, we've got our version 5.1 images that look a bit more detailed. So whatever your preference is, you could start with whatever version you wanted. But I want this sort of bold, strong looking design. So now I'm going to copy my original prompt and we're going to start experimenting. So paste. Now I'm going to put in some brackets again and these are called permutations as I've just mentioned. And we're going to put in comic noir because I want that sort of 1950s sort of detective noir look, comma and wood block. I'm going to see what it comes up with here. Click on yes again and it'll create two lots of images. And this just saves time. So here we have our wood block images, which don't look too bad. But here we have our comic noir images, which I really love. Got really strong blacks and whites, really clear. And that sort of look that I'm looking for. So now we're going to take this prompt of the comic noir, copy that, imagine, I'm going to paste that into place. So now this is how permutations can speed things up. So we're going to put in a bracket. So we're going to have a car, bus, truck, motorcycle, and we've got in bridge, downtown, New York, desert, garage. And so what it will do this time is create 16 different blocks of images all at once. So really speeds up the process. Click on yes again. So wow, it's got some really great looking images here. This one here is obviously in a garage. Wow. This must be downtown New York. Now, don't worry about all the shading that you see because we're going to sort all that out in a moment. And these are looking superb. And here's some great motorcycle pictures. So when you see images that you like, you upscale them. So in this one, we'll upscale image one. In this one, I'll probably upscale all the images. So now we've downloaded the images that we need. I've just downloaded a selection here to, to give you a good example. So we've come up with our niche idea with generated our prompt through a bit of prompt engineering. So now we've got our interior images. The next is to turn these images into really crisp, clear coloring book images. And for that, we come on to the next tool, which is Tangent Crystal. Now, the beauty of this is, is we can bulk upload our images. So I'm just going to open the folder where my images are, select all of those and just drag them in. So now we can just edit our images and this tool will remove things like shading. So if we take our first image, click on edit. And here we've got these two sliders where we can increase the brightness or we can lower the brightness. And then we've got this slider here for the details. So it's a case of coming up with a combination of the two to create something that's clear with enough detail, which I think this setting looks about right. Now you may look at this and go, well, look, there's a, some lines here which look a bit odd. Don't worry, we can get rid of those by clicking on the eraser tool, make sure white is selected. Now it's going to remove those lines from the original image, which was the outline of these buildings here. And just move that down there like so. If we click on save changes, we can see 
they disappear and so you can edit your image accordingly so then when we've got something we like just hit download and that will download the image to your computer and so we can click on the next image and do the same so now we've got our interior images the next thing we need to do is create our cover image so what we're going to do is take this image here i'm going to right click on it and click on copy link then imagine now we're going to paste in that link then we're going to go back to our image copy the original prompt paste that after our link then remove the formatters coloring book page monochrome white background and in its place i'm going to put in colorful illustration for coloring book vibrant bright colors let's see what we come up with here now for this you may need to experiment a little trying different combination of colors tropical colors hawaiian colors sunset colors red and green that type of thing until you come up with something that looks good and vibrant for a book cover and here we've got some great images but i think we'll choose this image number two so we'll upscale that wow i love the colors it really does have that sort of 1950s comic book look so i'm going to right click on it save the image okay so now we've got our images next thing to do is to actually create the interior and create the cover of our book so for the interior now you can do this in keynote powerpoint canva tangent templates has this great tool called tangent designer where you can create your interior or cover very quickly it allows you to bulk upload all your images set them out uh, control the margins put in all your blank pages easily and then just download as a PDF. Today, I'm gonna to quickly do it in Keynote. So we've got all our pages here of the correct dimension. Now I'm gonna be creating a coloring book with 80 pages. That would be 40 images and 40 blank pages. The reason we have blank pages is that sometimes with certain coloring pens, colors can bleed through to the other side of the page. Now you can leave those blank pages blank, or you can make them black, or as shown in the course, you could have them black with sort of a, an icon or motif image on that page, which re looks really effective. So we can start at page one. I'm gonna put an image here. Instead, you could start with your first page, you know, a message to the buyer or something like this book belongs to, whatever you like. So now I'm just gonna drag in those images. And this book is going to be a book with bleed. So I'm just going to enlarge those images and stretch them so that they cover the whole of the page. Now, you may not want to do that. Instead, you might want to create a book with margins so that you can include the whole image within margins on the page. But just as an example, this is a book with bleed. So now our second page, we're going to leave blank. So we're going to page three, drag in our second image and so on. So I'll quickly do that and get back to you. Okay, so I've put a selection of images here. Hit file, export to PDF, image quality best. And then we'll just call this interior and export. So now we come on to creating the cover. And I'm going to be doing this in Affinity Designer. Again, you can do this in Canva. You can even do it in PowerPoint, Keynote, if you like, or software like Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, whatever. I'm just using Affinity Designer. I'm going to be doing this quickly because the emphasis is more on creating the book rather than going through each step um, closely. If you want videos on how to go through each step, more slowly then i've got a playlist which i'll leave a link to down below um, in the description which goes through all the process of of creating a book and uploading it to amazon so here we've got our template that i've downloaded from the kdp help section i'm just going to drag in that image that we downloaded i'm going to drag this onto our cover like so making sure that it goes right to the edge or just overlap slightly and i'm going to make sure it goes up to this dotted line so the next thing will be to add the back cover area so i'm just going to draw a rectangle over this area i'm going to move that under our image and we're going to change the color and i'm going to change it to something that appears on our book and i think we'll have this sort of turquoise color down the middle i would add some text now the title of your book does have to either be on the front cover or down the spine so if it's not on the front cover make sure it's on the spine of your book so now we need to add some text now I went across to creative fabrica put in 1950s fonts now i quite like this firecracker here so i went ahead and downloaded that add text and we're going to call this book 1950s transport 
and we're going to choose our font that we've just downloaded increase the size so now what i'm going to do is just quickly change this font and add a background to the the text Now, what we could do with the back cover, we could add some writing. What I like to do is add some images from inside our coloring book. And we'll just drag in a couple of images. Now you can see here, these are SVG images. So have a transparent background. So we're just gonna draw rectangle, color that white, remove it to below our image. And we just need to repeat with, with another image. So you could put another couple of images on there or some writing, whatever you like. So we'll export as a PDF, 300 dots per inch and download it. So now we have our cover in PDF format. We've got our interior in PDF format, which are both ready to upload to Amazon via the KDP platform. So it really is a quick way of creating coloring books, uh, both the cover and the interior. And in fact, in the course, it says that you could create one of these in a day, which I think is easily possible, particularly with the shortcut techniques using mid journey and using then permutations of the prompts. And the quality is superb. These interiors are some of the best quality interiors that I've created. I mean, they are crisp, they're clear. There's no issues with shading and you can remove any strange looking parts of the image that don't look good, which you sometimes get with AI. So if you are interested in checking out Imagine, again, the link is down below in the, the description. It's well worth it. I think it would be a, a good investment if you are serious about creating these types of books. Now, if you are completely new to this, to uploading, uh, creating books to publish on Amazon, then I suggest starting with something a lot more basic, like a simple lined notebook or journal. And for that, I've got this book tutorials playlist here where I go through the steps of creating a lined journal and uploading it to the Amazon platform. Thank you much for your time. It is very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.